Well, good morning, everybody. Today it feels like fall. Uh, it's not, um, but we're not hitting 100 degrees anymore, which is good. Uh, yesterday I went and got some corn for the hogs. Uh, got six barrels. Uh, I, I like barrels because they just seem to last a little longer. Uh, one of my barrels, well, I've had it last up to two years without getting any kind of weevils or bugs in them and stuff of that nature. We do use some bad corn, but uh, so today we've I've been up kind of early, for daylight. Um, we got pigs back on our property, and <clears throat> I got a lot of chores. So this morning, bright and early, I I did my little walk with my thermal. I can see certain areas, but my place is pretty still thick with um, really mature woods. Um, I've been thinning areas out. I I don't plan on clear cutting this. But I, I will be uh, thinning them out. Uh, put one of the tires on. And yeah, that's obviously not how you want to do it. But that's why women live longer. You know, we men find shortcuts. Uh, but anyways, uh, I used the tractor to lift the back of the gooseneck up. And I've only put this one tire on <clears throat> with uh, uh, two lugs. It's just to hold it. Um, that one's going to go to spare and we'll be getting a new tire which will made up with this one so today i need to get ready for next weekend um, we're going to the deer lease to start doing our well what we call work days basically we go in there we do some trimming bush hogging spray the uh, stands out check stands uh, i've got a trap out there we're starting to condition it has some pigs coming in so we're working that out there for some trapping I need to do some work here and we've got some pigs here on our property again and I tell you I don't know where you guys live but my goodness we got pigs and we just can't get rid of them um, I don't know if I ever would want them all gone completely a hundred percent but at least at a manageable level to where it would be more like hunting uh, instead of having to trap them uh, some people are like get rid of them all which I can understand that because they are very uh they tear up everything they just tear up everything we've already been down in the horse pasture working this morning uh, i need to go bush hog it today gotta unload all this corn because my wife has to go get a big uh big bell of alfalfa so we can put that up we gotta get the horse uh where we're gonna store it ready uh so the goats can't get in there it's a lot of work to do it's a lot of work i need to get me an impact um we like milwaukee's uh, and I, they're just kind of expensive, but that's uh, maybe Christmas. Christmas is coming before we know it. Anyways, we're just going to be doing some work. somehow. All right, so you're probably wondering, well, what's up with this? Well, we don't have a place to store well, anything right now. Uh, still working on materials for a shop. I want to keep one barrel of corn up here close to me. That way, uh, when I transport it, I have, if it's raining or anything like that, I can fill up my little five gallon buckets and it's right here with me. Now I'm gonna take the other five and I'll put them somewhere totally different. But uh, since I have the jack, the pallet jack, my wife don't want it up here. I know that already. 
<clears throat> but this at least allows me to be able to move it get it out of our way um, I've got to get all these tires moved that uh, Hannah put some customs on her uh, on the red truck so anyways this year is just um, I'll go through this probably in a month uh, especially since deer season is fixing to start the girls ain't here to help me so I had to you know improvise but I was having to be real careful on the edge of the house here so I didn't get it uh, you know I want to tear up my shingles but anyways so first one unloaded um, I need to get the rest of it unloaded again so Heather can go get a big old bale of alfalfa I think it's about 1200 pounds or something like that uh, she goes to town twice a week for alfalfa uh, for the horses anyways this one's done I'll figure out where it's going to go now that it's on a pallet jack I can move it around <sighs> let's go unload the other five and then I've got to get ready to do some bush hogging Well, that was the last one. Just got some two by fours underneath there to keep uh, the, the metal off the ground. And I'll probably use a tarp or maybe some metal uh, to put on top to keep the water from settling on top. Well, that's a total of six uh, barrels of corn. They hold around 325 pounds each. So they're, they're quite heavy. It's a start and we need plenty of corn for um, trapping hogs. You guys know that. I didn't get a donation this past year on corn and I was literally down to two five buckets of corn. <laughs> uh, some of the customers I was doing work for, I tasked them with purchasing the corn and especially when they were a far off drive, um, I would text them and say, hey, trap needs corn and I had showed them how to do it and stuff of that nature uh, that saves me on fuel uh, and saves them money me driving back and forth does that make sense yeah all right so now now I need to uh, get the bush hog hooked up get the horse pasture done and then I don't know what else then but it's still a pretty day Well, I just finished some lunch. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is, uh, I've had this set up on the grater for a while now, and the bush hog's not level, so I'll pull it back up here on the concrete, where I'm hoping it's kinda level, and we just need uh, to uh, stiffen up this side over here, uh, so that way when I lift it, both of them are level at the same time.
All right, that's pretty close <clears throat> for uh, for for me. I'm I'm happy with it. It's not gonna drag too much. Next spot, horse pasture.